Hello, beloveds. It's Lainey Love Dolby beaming in. I'm the cosmic creatrix of the Sacred Revolution Oracle and also the founder of the Ecstatic Embodied Leadership Academy. And I wanted to beam in today to do an oracle reading around Jupiter entering into Aries, which has just happened on May 10th of 2022. And it's going to be going through um, until October, the end of October, and then it's going to take a break and then go back back in in December for a little bit longer into 2023. So we really are going to be having quite an infusion of Aries fiery, just do it energy that is moving in since we've been in these dreamy Piscean waters and we might be feeling waterlogged and ready to come onto shore and literally dry off at the bonfire. So this is an opportunity to really do that. And so I wanted to tune in around this. Mercury has also just gone retrograde. So it's a really great time to continue to look within, to deep dive, to do divination, to work with oracles, and to really investigate the deeper layers that are wanting to be excavated now as we move into this really potent transit. And so Jupiter is known by the ancients as the great benefic. It expands anything that it touches. It's about our growth. It's about abundance. It's about joy and aliveness. It's very juicy, um, and it really supports our learning and our growth as well. And with Aries, Aries is the fire sign that is very individualistic. It is first. It likes to, you know, be bold and brave and really um, be a trailblazer and blaze new paths that have never been trodden before. And so it's, it's a really powerful time of light and energy and vitality and movement and expansion and stepping into more of our potential. We've been in this space of dreaming. And now that we've been able to tune into the big dreams, now it's time to take action and make them happen, to step forward one foot in front of the other, make the dream happen. And I love so much that right during this transit is when the second edition of the Sacred Revolution Oracle is going to print and it is going to be here in a little less than two months time. So as we're in this fiery portal, we're going to have the second edition. It has three new cards and I'm so excited to be able to share the continuation of the medicine with you as it goes out into the world in even a bigger way. And so wanted to pull three cards today from the Sacred Revolution Oracle around this, just asking what do we need to know? How can we really tune in around these energies and best utilize these energies for stepping into more of our revolutionary potential? And of course, sparkling shamelessly, which is the essence and mission of all that I do, supporting you and really freeing you and your spirit to sparkle shamelessly. So really tuning in around the around the, this with the oracle here. And there were three cards that came through that I wanted to share. And so the first one is number 26, which is the Cosmic Creativity Activation card. And I love this card because it has a lot of fire. It has a lot of energy. It has a lot of vitality. It has transformation and expansion and just a lot of energy moving in it. And the fact that it is an activation card is very suited for this moment because Aries, this energy of Jupiter and Aries, it is an activation. We are being activated into really taking action, into moving forward, into really catalyzing the next the next step of our of what we're here to birth and who we're here to be. So this is the first card. The second card is 21, which is the keeper of life, death, and rebirth mysteries here. So just letting yourself tune in to this card. The keeper of life, death, and rebirth mysteries. And then the third card is 44, Emerge Through the Rainbow Birth Portal. This one feels very fitting for this catalytic moment. So we're going to tune in around these cards and I'm going to share what's coming through. And just let yourself take that image in. Take in the lightning strikes that are coming in. 
this card is so fitting because this is this moment where we're getting this jolt of energy and vibration and vitality and movement for what we have been marinating in, especially in the swampy energies that we were in in the beginning of 2022. And so I want to start here with card 21 because I feel that this is referencing as well the the full moon lunar eclipse portal that we are going to be entering through this weekend on may 16th and so depending on what time zone you're in um, and so this keeper of life death and rebirth mysteries i feel that it's really asking us at this time to really consider what is it that we still need to die away to what still needs to die away in our lives what still needs to shed like the serpent sheds its skin so that we can really step in to our fullness potential, fullest potential and vitality in the world. And so really looking at the places of, of karmic baggage that you might be carrying, especially with this Scorpio full moon and, you know, any abuses of power that might have happened or are currently happening, really, really looking at what needs to go now so that this new life can be born through you, so that the dreams that you've been fostering and holding within you can truly be born, can be reborn perhaps even, since this is also about rebirth mysteries. But what is it that really needs to be shed so that you can fully step in now? So really considering that in this portal and also knowing that this energy of Jupiter and Aries, there is a lot of newness. You know, Aries is the first in the astrological wheel, so it's like new birth. And so it is this place of new birth and really considering what is it that wants to be birthed through you in this next year with these energies? What are you creating in your lives? And as this card is coming in, it's like, what are you creating from the depth of your sovereign throne of primordial creation? You are the cosmic creatrix of your life. And in that, we are also collectively the cosmic creatrices of our world and what is transpiring. So what is it that you really want to catalyze with your creative energy? This is about tuning into that full trifecta that I've talked about many times that we're going deeper into in the mystery school, in the Sovereign Sisters Rising Mystery School of our spirituality, creativity, and sexuality all coming online together and fully moving. And that that is really going to fully activate this medicine bowl that we all have within that is the seat, that primordial throne of our cosmic creation. And so what is wanting to be born through you? You can see there's two little eggs here that are being held. They're yoni eggs actually, but it's, you know, what is it that is wanting to be born now? What is it that you are tending to? Since we're still in this Taurus season, what are you tending to? What seeds are you tending lovingly and with care that you really want to birth with the fire of this Jupiter and Aries energy, with this jolt of lightning? And in that, as we are bringing forward these new creations, they are emerging through the rainbow portal and really creating great transformation in our world. They are catalyzing massive transformation, a blossoming of energy, quantum healing, new beginnings. This card really brings all of that energy and it's really, you know, letting the old paradigm die away so that we can truly step in to this new paradigm led with our cosmic creativity, with our full energy, with our life force and vitality. That's really what Aries Aries brings and this card has so much life force and vitality and energy and there's also the dolphin here which loves to play and be in joy so how can we really allow this moment to help bring us alive I talk about that so much it's such a core part of all the work that we do in the Academy and here with the Oracle deck as well it's like what is gonna bring you wildly and unapologetically alive and letting yourself move towards that letting that be the thing that stimulates your rebirth. So really looking at what kinds of containers do you need to support you? And I had actually pulled a clarifying card as well that's wanting to come in. And the clarifying card is womb level, energetic womb level nourishment. So really asking here, what 
is going to most nourish you on this journey? What kind of containers are going to be able to hold you for this level of creation? What kind of sisterhoods do you need to call in? What kind of support structures in the tangible 3D do you need? Like this temple here. This can be the body temple, but it can also be a temple structure of what you're creating to hold you and all that you are birthing in this next year from this sovereign throne of creation within you. From your, from your medicine bowl that really contains your unique gifts and medicine that only you can bring. So really looking at what kind of containers do you need, what kind of support, what kind of nourishment, what kind of food, what kind of rest, because Aries energy can be go, 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 just do, and it can be very fast moving, it can have a lot of momentum, and you know it can lead us to burnout if we aren't really mindful of that piece of nourishment. So really looking at what do you need to be nourished and what structures do you need to support you in birthing this next level of who you're here to be and in, in really creating what it is that you're here to create, that gift that only you can give to the ecosystem that is going to nourish us all. So when we are deeply nourished, we can nourish the world with our deepest gifts and medicine. And so in that, you know, containers, for instance, like our Sovereign Sisters Rising Mystery School that is really all about helping to catalyze this energy of bringing forward the fullness, that next version, the emergence of who you are here to be. Of, of really what you are here to bring, of your full medicinal power. We are igniting that full creative, spiritual, and sexual power in the Mystery School, and we're actually beginning on Sunday for the full moon Scorpio lunar eclipse to really catalyze these really potent energies and that karmic clearing that wants to happen. We're really going to be cleansing any old karma, any patriarchal bonds and wounds, and really any body harm, and really come coming back to our full empowerment, our full ecstatic embodied leadership potential, and being able to really move forward and channel our Aries fire and our life force towards our biggest dreams, towards those dreams that have been waiting for us all their life, that are going to support us in stepping into our destinies, because this is a moment that can catalyze our destiny. This energy of Jupiter and Aries, it's a big, expansive energy. And so this is a moment to say yes to your destiny, to say yes to who you're here to be, to say yes to your fierce feminine firepower and to channel that in service to the greater good, to the heart of what matters most now, to really know that there is so much happening in the collective that needs our love, that needs our sacred rage, that needs the deep well of our compassion, like the unfurling fragrant rose that we can stand up and say, I am taking a stand for this. I will no longer tolerate this. I am bringing my gifts and medicine and creations to support change and transformation here now. Because that's what this card is really about. We are in a great turning of the ages, a time of great change and transformation. And we are here as catalysts and way showers and heart warriors for this new paradigm, for this new earth. And this card is really sharing that it's time for us to blossom into the fullness. There's the butterfly here. There's all the flowers. We are metamorphosizing into the next highest version of who we are here to be now. And we really need to call in that nourishment and support for that to happen. And so really looking at what containers now can hold you, deeply hold you and steward this growth and support you and guide you in this growth. You know, whether it's it's getting an oracular astrology one-on-one -on -one reading to really tune in around these energies to see how you can best channel them, whether it's finding a circle, whether it's creating your own. Maybe if you've been wanting to catalyze sacred circles in your life, you could step into our sacred circle leader certification to support you, like bringing forward the big dream now and getting yourself the nourishment you need for that to be a reality, for your creativity to come forward, for you to be sustained on all levels of your being so that you can truly soar now with the wings of the butterfly. You can see the theme of the butterfly 
the butterfly is here the butterfly is here and we also have the serpent coming up in many of the cards as well for that shedding that releasing that transforming and tuning into the divine feminine as well because the serpent is a symbol of the goddess and the divine feminine ancient primordial wisdom and knowing and that primal power so really tuning in with that primal power and channeling that that fire of the aries with this primal power towards the world we want to see towards what it is that we are here to create that only we can create because as you know i believe that we are here to co-create our lives as a great masterpiece for the good of all and our unique stroke is needed for the great cosmic masterpiece or it will be lost forever so what is that unique stroke that you are bringing to the cosmic masterpiece now that's really something for you to sit with and marinate in and to let be birthed through you this year with this fiery energy that is going to really inspire you and literally move you and you know one of the recommendations is actually movement so you know we do a lot of ecstatic embodiment practices in our academy and in our different offerings especially in the sovereign sisters rising mystery school that can really support you in moving this energy and channeling this energy effectively through the body because otherwise it can really create that level of of burnout it can create that level of blowing out the system that's that's the potential of jupiter and aries right because it it really expands anything it touches which you know can expand the positive potential but it can also expand the shadow aspects and so another piece of that is that it can expand anger and frustration for instance but we want to be able to skillfully channel that fire when that anger and sacred rage comes up towards what it is that we want to create towards the change we want to see in the world instead of letting it come out sideways to someone we love or a family member or you know out in public and dealing with somebody you know in the world um road rage whatever it might be instead of it you know spinning out in these different directions we want to skillfully learn to channel that fire for the greater good towards the heart of what matters more, most and towards that transformation towards the rebirth that is here now and letting that fire burn away what is no longer in service to transmute it to alchemize it in the indiv in our individual selves but also in the collective how we want to really collectively transmute and die to what no longer serves us in this old patriarchal paradigm because remember there's still the pluto return of the usa happening and no surprise that everything is happening with roe versus wade and all these things right now right these are and all the lgbtq issues and just so much is happening especially in the political landscape to threaten our body autonomy to threaten our authentic soul expression and really being the fullness of who we are unapologetically and so how can we really, you know, really, really transform that now, alchemize that now and come into a whole new way of being? And what do we want to create with our energy, with this fire in service to that transformation? Because that's really what it's all about. And that, again, is exactly what we're doing in our Sovereign Sisters Rising Mystery School. We are igniting our full wild feminine creative, spiritual and sexual power to transform the world because this sh orgasmic Shakti life force energy is what will transform the world and it also is what brings us alive it brings us into our ecstatic embodiment into our juice into our into our aliveness into our radiance and if you remember from the last oracle reading if you got to catch that you know it really tuned in to the sacred union of our humanity and divinity which is all about tuning in to that sensual embodiment which is you know really such a piece of our north node taurus collective destiny right now until 2023 as well and so really letting this experience feel good letting ourselves be deeply rooted in our ecstatic embodiment is going to support us with this transit with what we are birthing and really doing what we need to tend to ourselves in such an exquisite way in such a deeply nourishing way so that we can show up with that full fire when it's needed needed so that we can be the transformation that is needed in the world now so that we can be those ecstatic embodied leaders and way showers and lightning catalysts and transformers that are here really helping to heal 
um, in the collective and help to raise the collective consciousness as well. And, you know, that's really what this card is about. Like this rainbow birth portal is transporting us into the next level of who we're here to be, into the next level of our species, the next evolution into homo luminous of beings of light and radiance and love that have fully remembered our interconnection, our interbeing, our galactic Gaia unity consciousness. So many of the themes that are at the essence and root of this Oracle deck, but that is the potential here as we bring our creative powers towards this remembrance, towards this raising of consciousness, towards this unity consciousness and coming home to each other. Remembering we belong to each other on the journey is going to be important because Aries is individualistic. It can go and blaze the trail and forget about everybody else, but we don't want to forget about everyone else now. We want to remember and do this in service, offer our gifts and our creativity and our energy in service to the greater good, in service to the transformation that is needed now. So that's really a big piece of what is being invited here with this rebirth portal that we're in. And so again, with this lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which I'm going to do another reading around that soon too, but you know, dying away to what no longer serves fully so that you can really bring forward your full cosmic creativity, this firepower, this Aries light and energy to really birth those big dreams that came forward during Jupiter and Pisces and really say, now is the time. Now is the time to take action. Now is the time to move forward. Now is the time to catalyze the dream and really start taking action today to not delay. That's what Aries offers us. And we're in a really big portal of energy, especially between May 25th and May 29th. Really pay attention to what happens in that time, what is catalyzing for you, what is moving, because what is lighting up your fire, because that's going to offer you the flavor of this entire transit. And so really at the end of the month, tuning in around that and also intending what you want this portal to be for you, what you want this transit to be, how you want to utilize this creative fire and energy for the greater good of all. And may this truly inspire us and may it light us up and may it help us step into our full cosmic creative potential. And of course, may it help us to sparkle shamelessly for the good of all now. Because that is why we're here to really be in service to each other. We are the medicine. And so we're here to offer that medicine to each other in service to us all collectively growing and expanding together. So let us step in with this Jupiter and Aries energy to our next level of abundance and quantum healing and vitality and expansion and all that we are here to be. We would love to support you on the journey. There's a few spots left in the Sovereign Sisters Rising Mystery School if you're feeling the call to ignite that creative, spiritual, and sexual firepower within you. You can find out more info below. And again, as well, if you'd like to know how to specifically utilize your own energies and creativity during this Jupiter and Aries transit, you can book a uh, oracular astrology session below. Would love to tune in around that with you with the oracle as well as your birth chart to be able to tune into how you can really best utilize these energies and also be deeply nourished during this time as we are moving forward. And so bringing forward that creative power Power, that power of raw, pure creation is the biggest gift we can give right now during this portal. And may we all tune in that to that together and just so excited to support you in any way in that journey as well. And we can't wait to see you next time. Until then, click like below if you enjoyed this video. Comment. Let us know how this is resonating for you. What are you wanting to create? What is this fire inspiring in you? How are you feeling it in your ecstatic embodiment? And just really tune in with us around that. And then be sure to subscribe so you can get all the future readings. And until next time, sparkle on, beloved, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.